Hello, this is Deb from Deb's Digital Tips and I today am going to talk a little bit quickly about the update to Storybook Creator that should be available in your software uh, from Panstoria and just wanted to make sure that you know how to get that installed and that it works okay because this is going to be your way to get your upcoming projects printed. So you should look when you get Storybook open you should see this little link down here if you haven't updated already that says click to check for software updates. And So if I do that it's going it's checking the the server to see and I know for a fact that I haven't updated yet so it should pop up. So it says here an update is available so I'm gonna click to download the update and I'll just show you what that looks like. It looks like this, and it says download Storybook Creator for update. And so you can read about it, and then here you need to know for sure whether your computer is a 64 bit uh, Windows or a 32 bit. Um, you can find that out actually by clicking on uh, my computer, which I'm sorry, but I have Windows 8, so you've got to actually, let's see. I know how to find it otherwise, but not through here. Let's see. On Windows 8 or even Windows 7, I'm going to click on the little file folder and go to computer. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hold on just a moment. <sighs> okay, so I found my computer now. I'm sorry, Windows 8 just updated and I hadn't learned it yet, but if you go to your C drive, wherever you find that, and go ahead and right click on it and do properties. <coughs> you can usually, oh my goodness, boy I'm messing this up big time. Hold on just a minute more. Okay, sorry about that. So instead of doing it that way, I'm going to go ahead and grab my control panel. And that will probably be a lot easier for you to find than for me. Um, hopefully you're not running Windows 8 yet. Uh, but then when you're in your control panel, click on systems and settings and go to system. And then right here it's telling you about what you're running. So I'm running a 64-bit, I knew that. But for most people, if your computer has 4 gigabytes of RAM or less, there's a good chance you're running a 32-bit. If it's a newer computer and you've got more than that, you're probably running 64. So I'm just going to close that out. And I would go ahead and download the update for the 64-bit. So I'm going to get that started. I'm going to save the file. That's most likely going to go directly into your downloads folder unless you've told it otherwise. So I'm going to pause here and when it's done downloading then I will come back to the recording. Okay, so my my update downloaded um, and I just clicked on my, my download library. It's right here. So I'm going to double click on that. and then it's going to start thinking. Okay, and of course we're going to say yes, it can set this up. And we're going to go through, just let it run through its normal setup process, um, and then I'll see you at the other end. Okay, so now I've got my install shield wizard here and it's asking me to click next. So you need to read your end user license agreement. Um, I've been in the legal industry too long to, to tell you not to do that. So um, I do skim it kind of, but we're going to go ahead today and click the accept the terms and click next and go ahead and let it install. Okay, and during that process, one thing that did show up, and I didn't catch it in time to bring the recording back on, was that Storybook was open, so it asks you if it can close that so that it can continue the install, and you go ahead and say yes to that, that's fine. So now we're at the end, it's completed, and it says that it was successful, so this is an, I accidentally double clicked, so, okay. So now, if we go back here, this is where my storybook, yes. Okay, so Storybook Creator has a new icon on my desktop. 
And as always, it takes a few seconds to open up. And here we go. So now just to make sure that everything's okay, I'm going to go click to check for more software updates. And it's up to date. So now I should be able to talk to the um, Panstoria print shop. So here's the deal. I'm going to go to create a project. And if I go to new project, it's now going to show me all of the projects that are available from Panstoria, which some of these are going to be different, like canvas prints, that's not something that CM offered before, um, ornaments you can make, there's now metal prints, and there's, of course, different, there's still calendars available, um, there's different kinds of mobile device cases, I really wish they had my phone, and you can do all sorts of things here. Um, so go ahead and get familiar with this it's kinda cool they give you the prices here but I also um, put a post up today about a different little walk through the the print shop to see what's available because it's time to get uh, Christmas ideas going so in a nutshell you definitely want to make sure that you've got this update installed and ready to go so that you can get working on projects with your software so until the next time enjoy